You know, it's funny, it seems like the more I try and plan out my life and what I'm going to do with it, the more it just doesn't go to plan. I went to uni for two years, now I'm thousands of dollars in student loan debt, and then I just said bye and decided to spend a ton of money on a van with the plan of building it into a home and eventually just leaving. All by my choice, by the way, but I kind of have no idea what I'm doing anymore. I thought I did, but now I just don't know. So I guess you could say I'm a little lost in life, but, you know, I think it can be beautiful. So this is me, a 20 year old kid with a camera who's trying to strive for something, but has no idea what that something is anymore. As long as I can remember, I wanted to be making movies. That has really like been one of my only hobbies or interests that I've ever had. But now the pressure and anxiety I feel to succeed at it, or at least just be constantly inspired to make videos. It's making me second guess whether that's actually what I want to be doing with my life. I'm stuck between, is this really hard? Or am I just genuinely not enjoying it anymore? It's, it's kind of like being stuck in the middle with a bunch of different paths around you, but you don't really know what to do. So you kind of just sit there. That's pretty much my life right now. So this is a segment I like to call uh, lost, alone, and trying to find myself. Wow, that's a, that sounds a lot sadder now when I say it out loud. So there's three things on the agenda. I need to find food. I need to find a place to sleep because that's proving to be a bit of a problem because everything is no camping and no overnight staying and all this crap. And finally, find myself. Let's try, I guess. So I just pulled into this town. I'm hoping it's small enough where they won't mind if I kind of just post up on the side of the road. Got myself a nice simple ham and cheese sandwich. Look at that. Living a luxury life, my friends. I got no reception out here. I don't know what to do. The loneliness is setting in because I don't know what to do. What do I call this segment? I'm bored, so I'm gonna give myself a therapy session. I feel weird. I feel like I shouldn't feel this lonely right now. Because I know you can be alone and not feel lonely. And then you can be with people and still feel lonely. Right now I, I'm alone and I feel lonely. It feels like I'm doing something wrong. I guess meeting new people is the hard part. Meeting people so you don't feel lonely, I guess. <laughs> Okay, quick update. <laughs> you know, it's a lot harder to fend off the feeling of loneliness than I thought it would be. I know I can go back anytime to my family, to my friends, but I want to prove to myself that I can do this. I want to push myself to, you know, explore and not have to rely on other people to be happy. That's fucking hard, man. Baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> You know, I like to think to myself about my future a lot and what I actually want to be doing with my life, but I try and figure it out. That's my problem. I'm constantly living for the future and worrying that I need to make something of myself now and pick the perfect career and sort my life out now so I can be truly happy and content in the future. And I guess I kind of forget what's happening around me right now. <laughs> 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 so if you don't already know, this is my brother. His name is Sonny, he's five years old, and he is the textbook definition of a little munchkin. Wanna say hello? Hello! What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I would like to work in a shop. Yeah? Yeah. What type of shop? A shop 
where I sell food. And I'm also going to sell Beyblades. Beyblades? Yeah, lots of them. Do you know what you want to be doing when you're 10 years old? Uh, no. No? Well, I'll still be in high school by then. You haven't thought that far ahead? No. No? Okay. Cool. Kid. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah, of course he doesn't know. He's only a kid. But then again, why is anyone expected to know what they're going to do with their lives? He doesn't know what he'll be doing in the next five years. And does that affect his happiness? Not, Not in the slightest. <laughs> What they say, never eat yellow snow. Why? Because it's got pee in it. What's it pee? This is a snowboard. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that really puts it into perspective how unimportant it is to worry about the future and what I want to do with my life. Because that shouldn't affect my happiness, right? But it does. And as a result, I forget what's actually going on around me. One thing I've realized about being lost in life is that it brings the curiosity to do more. Because I never would have even bought a van or considered doing this van life thing or, you know, explored as much as I have or even been to half the places that I've been to if I wasn't lost in the first place. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? been more in the middle of nowhere than I have right now. Look at that big On trail. The way. There's horses. Those, those are wild horses, them. It's so bumpy. I didn't come all this way for nothing. I'm gonna make it. I'm not gonna come all this way just for a gravel road to stop me. You know, I'm not sure that I've found myself yet. Um, doesn't feel like it. But, you know, I, I kind of, I don't really know what that means anymore. Do I still feel lost? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But that's something I'm trying to think differently about. I think being lost allows you to experience life how I think it was supposed to be experienced, which is to be explored, all of it. And that's something being lost kind of forces you to do. It's led me to some pretty cool and unique experiences, which, yeah. That's what I think it's about. Storm, I'm, coming home. I'm, coming I'm gonna home. continue to try and not get caught up in my mind about how my life should look or you know what my life should be like. And I guess just try and drop those expectations and I guess just embrace the chaos. Still got quite a bit to work on to I guess be happier and more content. But I think I'm getting there, I think I'm on the right track. And I don't think being lost is a bad thing either. I think it's necessary. That's like not just me trying to reassure myself because I feel like fucking lost, but I don't know. Everyone's lost at some point in their life. So I think it's, it's perfectly okay. I changed my mind. Oh, slow hell, my coming. <sighs> All right, I'm done. No! Oh! <laughs> Sorry! No! <laughs> no matter. We have a gentleman and a dog. I'm coming home I'm coming home